Let's go back to live shows with Voyage of the Little Mermaid. Not to be confused with the upcoming ride, Journey of the Little Mermaid. Uh, yeah, there's a big difference between a voyage and a journey. One of them goes to the bottom of the sea, and the other goes to the center of the earth. The show starts off by raining on you, followed by kinda neat but ultimately pointless laser effects. Much like the movie, the best thing about the show is Under the Sea. We all know how high energy the song is, and it's set to some great puppetry. Once that song ends, however, the show really isn't that good. For a live show, it relies really heavily on just showing us scenes from the film. No disrespect to the cast members, as I'm sure every one of them gives it their all day in and day out, but it's just not very interesting blocking to sing the I Want song sitting on a rock, especially right after such a visually interesting puppet show. She even sings the last line of the song next to the movie's far more iconic pose of the same line. Why even bother having the actress? Things start to look up when there's a pretty cool Ursula puppet animatronic parade float something on stage, but things quickly go south again. Starting from the point where she signs her voice away, most of the story is told in clips from the movie. That's like the bulk of the movie. The entire romantic subplot, the entire action climax, just in clips we've all seen. There's no performance of Kiss the Girl or anything. Hell, the first time a live actor for Eric shows up is when she thinks he's dead. Yeah, there are some emotional stakes for you, killing off a guy we've never actually seen before. And now Puppet Sebastian is interacting with animated Triton, meaning the animated characters are supposed to really be there, so does that mean all those clips from the movie were really going on behind her? Are there two aerials? And out of nowhere, somebody in a Max costume shows up on stage, and they just sort of hug awkwardly in front of a picture of them kissing, and I don't get it. We waited in line for a long time to see a live show. If we wanted clips from the movie, we still have that bulky white plastic clamshell VHS with alleged phallic imagery in our basement somewhere. I don't mind using clips to supplement the live show, but at least have the interesting stuff be live. Figure out a climax that can be acted out on stage. Don't just expect us to be excited by video. At least have the actors actually kiss for crying out loud.